experience. So, like, you know, as a kid, like, okay, this is going to be part two anyways. It's Shay Seeking again or Shalanda, right? Um, yeah, but anyways, you get my drift, right? About how, you know, it was or whatever. So, I just learned that, you know, words are powerful. And some of us, we don't even know our, our full uh, power and potential because of the things that have been put on us. I feel like as children in school and society, the things that we're we're taught or indoctrinated with in school, you know, um, just things like that, you know. So it's just like, uh, I don't know. I've never been do. I've never done too well with like regulations and rules, you know. Or doing it the way other people do it. You know, I always just thought like, nah, you know what I'm saying? I see what they doing. But I, you know what? If I take this, this, and that, I can do it like this. You know? And, you know, um, I remember being little and I was just talking about this. I remember being a little girl and I'm like, uh, about nine, right? And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> You know, and see, this is the hard thing for me because I just want to be, <coughs> excuse me, on this channel and on this platform. I built this to connect with people within us, with a certain mindset, within a certain, you know, so-called community, a certain groups of people. You know, um, that's what I made the platform for. But it was really mainly about information. And then I started to kind of loosen up and try to tell my story a little bit when more, you know, spiritual things were going on around me for the past year and a half. So. You know, I, I feel like I'm being judged or observed off of things that I'm doing. Like everybody, you know, it feels weird. It feels weird. You know, it's like almost like uh, possibly, you know what I'm saying? I was just thinking today, like uh, possibly, you know, uh, because of challenging uh, the god ridding forces and challenging, you know, the entertainment um, uh uh, industry and, 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 um, challenging some things, just making very challenging conversations about those type of things. You know, it's almost like somebody, you know, it's almost like somebody threw me into a secret celebrity status, you know what I'm saying? And now, now it's time for all eyes to be on me. But again, it's, it's unbeknownst to me because I'm not invited <laughs> to know what these people are doing, how far it goes and things like this, right? So it can be like really frustrating for me, right? And it's just like, you know, um, I feel like like I, like I from the energy, rather I pay attention to, you know, readings or whether I pay attention to my intuition, whether I pay attention to what I feel and sense around me. You know, it's like I said, it's a struggle to try to balance it all. Because I feel like there's other stuff that I'm ordained to be doing in the world. And these people are using it as a perfect opportunity to find something to make the sun fall, right? But again, I just feel like nobody don't realize that I feel like I don't work on your rules. You know what I'm saying? And your uh, regulation that you try to put in, in place for me. I know that the Antichrist is a movement. I know that Satan uh, has a little bit of time, right? I know this, right? Like in something, since I, do, since I was or feel like I still am to a sense or have mirrored the energy and also that energy matches up with the, the a persona, okay, of a divine masculine in this realm, in this lifetime, Right. I, I I don't know. I have a different view or something on it. And it just feels like, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. it will be like a part of like when I'm in a certain zone, you know what I'm saying? I'm wondering, does that resonate with them more? Um, also, like being in a sense where there's a grievous or a grief kind of energy around right now. And again, you know, seeing that, OK, we'll talk about it like this. Seeing as though this is something that is like, I feel like it started off as a governing operation, okay? People have heard of Blue Beam and all these other things or mind control and things like this. So at some point in time, this, this connection, we'll say, I felt like it was something like that, right? Okay, now this is prior to the B-gram 
airport or air whatever abandonment, right? Prior to that, it felt like this is something, you know, it felt like this was something where a certain time of the day, some observations or something were going on, right? Some type of targeting or spying or something. And then the, the connection is weakened once they abort the mission, right? But then we have to remember that, and this is just all through, the, my, through my eyes, right? Then we have to rem remember that after that. And again, sometimes I feel like I'm just telling this stuff. Some, some part of me wants me to keep it a secret. And part of me is like, no, like to me, this feels like, you know, my life is in danger. This, this feels like I, if, if this is the case, what source has been showing me by being an oracle or a seer, if this is, if this is the case, then there should be some kind of witness protection. There should be some kind of, I shouldn't even be here. You know what I'm saying? Just think about all the things that, you know, I've been through again, spiritual attacks and everything from family members and stuff like that. It feels was like, you know, I shouldn't even be, you know, I should be somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Considering the condition, right? And it's just like, it felt like that's what it was. But since they left their equipment behind now, all this equipment behind, right? And now it's in the hands of the Taliban. And I warned you that the Taliban <laughs> represents just groups and militias and things like that. And again, some of them may not like me too much. Some of them may have been people that have co co put put uh, went together in secret in crafty council to hide things that have been again, you know. Matter of fact, these people might want something. They may have patents that they want to achieve or take in certain areas, and I might have just be on a home that I bought that is in that area. You know what I'm saying? I do, I, this is what I have already gotten because, again, small little cues and little, you know, people be dropping stuff or whatever throughout time to kind of uh, send some type of inkling. That, But, again, it, for some reason, these people know too much information. So then I say these have to be, these they have to be ops. They have to be this person, these people, the ones I'm talking about. They have to be. Things must be moving very smoothly with them getting the grips and getting all kind of things in their hands. When again, I feel like some of these people have been assisted, uh, sent to assist me and others in doing so. But again, I will always say it doesn't go that way. <laughs> rather you reach out, re, uh, rather I reach out to them or not, I can always sense that people were trying to, some of these people that were, you know what I'm saying, in, uh, within the community didn't want anything to do with me for no reason. And I just thought that was weird. And then more things started coming out. And it just was so weird. And so it's something that I cannot let go. I can't. I, I have to just finish telling my story and then I can let it go. Possibly. Because I've already moved on mentally. But I'm just like, nah. Because people, I feel like, again, the energy is still telling me that people are running their mouths. They'll never say nothing to my face and directly. They'll never, like, drop it or drop my name or drop nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? They just going to. Continue to hide, throw things and hide. You know, you got to be weak as hell to try to do some whole, to have a whole group of people um, below and above and below, right? To come and conspire against somebody, even if it was a helpful energy, then where is somebody to say that? You know what I'm saying? Why do I have to guess that this, what this, if you, if you, either you there to help somebody or show them something or, you know, drop something for them or give them some kind of something or you're not. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, it's just like whatever. And it seems like, you know, for some reason, everybody else must be on like some kind of killer path about the shit. But why not me? And I know I'm that motherfucker right now. So, you know what I'm saying? And, and the thing is, the more that they can try to act like that and try to deflect that and act like I don't know that I am, then, you know, the more they can just keep on trying to, you know, drag my name and have other people think that way. And that's fine. It ain't got to be nobody but me on this motherfucker that think that I know who the hell I am right now. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's how strong my connection is. And even if somebody think, right, even if somebody thinks, um, I was just thinking about this, like, what, what about, like, how far do we, like, who knows everything here, right? So again, what if there is a God, right? And these people know about this, this is the God or the deity or whatever that they worship. Who are you to say that I'm not even connected to something that's even more different than what everybody is connected to? You know what I'm saying? It's just like, 
that's just how I feel sometimes. That's that's how how much I the time I put into seeking that source on a daily basis. Just because nobody see me get down on my knees 50 times a day, it doesn't mean that that's not what I'm doing. So again, I feel like, you know, these gifts have been given me because, you know, somebody knew that I was going to have to put up with something like this someday. And I feel like it's kind of like a, a torturous thing, right? Because like I told you, it felt like at first that this was some kind of thing. So I was always reserved about it or whatever. But then after that, if you think about it, they have these tools. Let's say that these tools are certain programs or something that you can use for uh, messaging or, you know, sending direct signals to people, um, you know, some kind of microwave, like some kind of waves or something like that. They could be using some kind of solar panels, you know, just anything, you know, just, just think of these are like uh, some kind of suits. They did just say night vision goggles and things like this. You know, so what if there are things like, did y'all see that movie, The Invisible Man? I mean, I won't take it that far. But what if there are certain things that people have that they can that they have or utilize to have access to you un, un, unbeknownst again to you? This is, these are the things that I just I wonder. And so now all of a sudden there's a disconnect right there. And could this just be a low down way? You know, could this be a low down way again for somebody to allow, you know, demands, right? Okay. Or other people to come in on the, like that precious pearl, right? Could this be a jealous, again, I keep saying this whole jealous God energy, you know? I don't know. It's kind of like those lyrics that says something like, you know, um, I don't know, something like, hmm. Yeah, I won't be doing too many more of those, I guess. It's just the deep, the 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 deeper, <laughs> okay, the deeper, um, or the more I dwell on it and think about it, it's just like something that was like out of this world about this connection, and I can't, I just can't let go because. You know, and then I feel like at a, at a certain, like right now when I even just said that, something just said you, you you have to, but there's still something you have to acknowledge. Because it feels as though, you know, like I keep thinking like in the biblical text, you know, it was riding on something I felt that happened. Right? But I know I'm destined to do something else. But then again, you know what I'm saying? It did trigger something in me. And it ain't even about the thing. It's about knowing that somebody did, you know, knowing that it feels like somebody's doing something criminal or some kind of criminal activity. And, and these are um, possibly people, again, that smile on your face but want to take your place. And people that have been scheming and, and doing stuff and witchcraft and everything and doing all these things and stuff um, to you. And that they're going to get away with something. And it feels like almost like it's like. Maybe even if a masculine was even in on some shit like that at first, maybe they changed the way that they wanted to do it and wanted to do something right. But again, can you think about it? Oh, what, what was it? The card we pulled today, the three witches having strength, you know. Somebody saying the challenge is coming back. Well, are you going to be ready? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just like, you know, what is some, what is source trying to tell me? <laughs> And something about a child or children. And it's just like, what is Source trying to tell me? Because I know we dealing with some galactic type shit. Nobody is going to be able to see what I see through my eyes. Just like I can't see every single thing that you see through yours. But I think it's torturous. I think it's dirty. I think it's downright disgusting. The way that it's been done. To leave somebody in the situation then and then do these certain things. I have certain ways of like, um, you know, just scrolling, right? 
certain things that show up in my feed. And, you know, it just, it's just, it's, I think it's just kind of sickening, right? Because what, is somebody trying to make me think something? Are you just trying to hurt me because you know that this connection is something that kind of like is disintegrating? And then it's funny because it's not like on my mind is not even like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this, oh, is it another, you know, like person or did you leave me? You know, you know, like, like, like that, right? Because again, if anybody try to think that they trying to set me up at some point in time because of whatever, you know what I'm saying? Stuff is going on. It, it, there's no secrets really with me for the past year and a half. I've been honest about everything that happened here. So if anybody feel like they trying to just catch me up, like whatever, because everybody's up to date with whatever I do share or whatever happened throughout this year. Right. So rather somebody got, think they got some kind of whatever dirt or something like that. It's like out in the open already amongst the people that it would matter to. Cause it's always been an open dia dialogue about it. Which is why, you know, yeah. <laughs> so I think it's almost like so I, I, there's something that I have to say, right? Or I have to acknowledge, right? But should I say it? Do I not say it? You know, it's just like that energy. It's almost like somebody's like, yeah, you know, this person is a rock. But again, I just don't. When it comes to like speaking my truth or whatever, I don't care. And I don't have to lie about anything. From this point, since I done been on this journey, I, I just am really, it's really slim pickings with me telling the motherfucker lie or, you know, trying to trick somebody or mislead somebody or anything. I don't care how much it's going to hurt your feelings. I just got to say how it is. I just can't do it. I mean, unless we talking about like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When, you, when, when somebody asked me to come pick them up or something and I'm like... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I just, I'm around the corner when I'm really like 20, 20 more minutes away. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just bad with time sometimes. So I don't know. I feel like, you know, I feel like it's kind of like it's harassment to a certain extent then now. You know what I'm saying? It's not even, it's not even that. It's just like, I'm more worried. Like, is somebody okay? And you know, is, is it something I need to be concerned about? You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I'm, I'm just one of those people that's numb to it, to any type of, like, I'm really aware, you know, I'll be watching my back or whatever, but I'm really like at a, I don't really, you know what I'm saying? You know, nobody about to have me around here where I don't want to go leave my house, you know, like shit like that, you know? But I know there has to be something there because, you know, this is not the first time that I've, again, you know, witnessed, uh, again, one of these people that I feel be coming from me, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, playing uh, lyrics that would, you know, possibly try to make me jealous or something or playing something in there, you know, just doing things or whatever, you know. And it's like, I don't know how the experience might be for, for, for anybody else, but for me, in a sense, for those of you who've been already, you know, walking with me on this journey and have watched the videos and, you know, the things that I've shared with you here. It's kind of like, I'll tell you how, how, how this kind of happened. It's kind of like in my mind, right, while I was going through this, and this is why I was making me think, is this some kind of attack? You know what I'm saying? Was this some type of, uh, not attack, well, not attack, but some kind of like program or something. You know what I'm saying? I just be thinking. I just be thinking out loud. I mean, it ain't none of this stuff like no secret as to what have been done over the past when it comes to tech and things like this. So again, I always had to keep that, you know, that was another way for me to be really open about it too, because I'm doing the investigation. Of course, I'm curious. You know what I'm saying? I want to know. <laughs> so... <clears throat> excuse me it's almost like I sensed the person right and then I feel like you know started to channel through music and then you know there was like a um I don't know something like playing some heart strings you know I was looking at that uh whatever world 
whatever global thing that they have going on. I keep seeing a couple of those clips. And I was looking today. I was watching, uh, what's the name, Boris, right? Uh, with a little bit of his speech or whatever. And I noticed that, you know, they had like a, a coat of arms on the back, right? And it had the three, it had the three lions on there, right? And then it had the harp, right? And I don't know why the harp just made me think about, you know, it's almost like those three. Remember we said it was something strange about those three lionesses, right? Well, I said it, you know. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, them representing, you know, for me, it felt like me. I, well, I won't even go that far. Okay. But I, it made me feel like it was representing certain entities or whatever. But then I noticed because the only half of the um, shield was showing. And then the bottom half had a harp. You know, and it kind of made me think about like the town crier or like maybe somebody like playing a harp like, oh, well, I'm just going to sit here. You know, it's kind of like, isn't that something that people do like offensive? Like, oh, like, you know, when somebody's telling their story, you know, what I'm saying somebody's like playing around like, oh, here's the harp. Like, let me pull my harp out. You know, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, like on cartoons or something like this is something that you will see them doing. You know, like, oh, it's another sob song or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That, that, I don't know. I just got that energy from that. Mm -hmm. But back to what we was talking about. <laughs> I'm just chilling. I'm just sitting here, y'all. And I was just thinking, right? So this whole thing, you know, first it was just all like me sensing something. Okay. I'm picking up on something. Okay. You know, something is there. You know, this is when I started realizing about ancestors and everything like this. And like it really started to, it took me some time to get into this. It was like something that happened really fast. But once I was in it, I was in it. I started to sense, I started to sense, you know, being, um, I wouldn't say a medium or anything, but, you know, obviously, again, I'm dealing with, you know, I feel like energies of heavens and earth, right? Rather we're talking about supernatural or when we're dealing with, again, a tech that I think that they were using on some of us. Um, with the governing forces, right? So I was thinking how this was coming in, how it was all coming in. Okay, it was all just mental, right? And then it led into having a physical feeling, a physical connection. Well, not a physical, like in person, but like, could you imagine like feeling like, you know, you having a connection with somebody and it actually feels like something feels warm, something feels like... Uh, real it's like uh uh i don't know like it's something separate from mm, yeah uh i guess what you can call a soul tie but actually actually being able to sense it you know how sometimes you you say something tastes like the smell of something and somebody might say what the hell does that mean <laughs> You know, but it's like, I don't know, a sense of a connection. It was like, it was like a, actually like an, a, a string was tied from, for at least on my part is what it felt like from that person. To, so even if it was just a protecting, it felt like I was supposed to be protect or, and that person was supposed to be leading me to understanding. I don't know, but it was still just this, this thing here. So it went from that a mental thing and me saying, is this, is this somebody I'm having a connection with? And researching and looking at, you know, people saying that, you know, you can also, you know, uh, there are certain things of matching people's energy. Like if you admire somebody like their work ethic or something like that, then you can kind of like almost like channel. Um, I, I don't, I don't know exactly how the person was explaining it. Right. Um, goodness, what am I trying to say? I mean, I guess inspiring. Somebody can be like an inspiration. And that's just it. Or like if you're going through a breakup, you're going to probably listen to some songs of people that sing songs about breakups and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to, you know, you're going to resonate more with that. Right. So then I started to, you know, like I said, have a sense of something and then you know certain songs will come on i'll be listening to the lyrics like wait a minute that sound like that's telling my story you know what i'm saying and then i say okay well you know well this you know i don't know kind of just seems like what was going on and how in the hell is this because this seemed like the person that i'm sensing i'm picking up their energy 
you know, and I guess maybe that's what, what, what if you're like a seer or a uh, oracle or something, maybe that's what you can do. I don't know. So it was scary. You know what I'm saying? Why am I, why am I thinking about this person? Why am I, why is this person in my thoughts? Why is this happening? Why is that happening? You know, I hadn't even been thinking about this person as a, you know, like in a, a long time or anything like that. Like, you know, like. Because I don't know, know them, you know. And then it went to like, okay, wait a minute. That's almost like communication, but almost like past tense and present. You know, and then kind of like futuristic type of shit. I mean, it was just weird. I don't know. And then other activities started to happen, right? Other st other activities started to happen. Like, you know, again, uh, I listen to Pandora a lot. So channeling, you know, um, uh, songs coming in on channels that they shouldn't be on, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Things like this. And, you know, it was like it was the, the airwaves are just like forcing it through, you know. And, 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 and then what happens? I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, now this is something real, you know. And then all of a sudden, it's weird. Because like I said, all this is like, skept I'm skeptical about the whole thing. I'm skeptical about the whole thing, right? And I'm like, okay, <laughs> what is going on? Time goes by. I notice that somebody, and I feel like this is where I feel like this is like some kind of scheming something, right? And, and this is like some kind of, you know, like, and so this is a real legit thing that I'm talking about, but it felt like, you know, there was some scheming or something going on, or this is a setup or somebody's playing games or maybe, you know what I'm saying? Something else is going on because then, you know, I started getting all, and this is why I know it was like uh, hacking or something, but I can't, you know what I'm saying? I just can't stay away from a good uh, mystery, <laughs> right? And so it goes from that to, you know, random um, different accounts, right? With this individual's, um, you know, uh, this individual's name. Now, th this is just, this is like, what is going on here? <laughs> like random accounts, like with this name or with their images or, and it might even just be, you know, I know people's making fake accounts or whatever, right? Okay. So I'm just thinking, why would somebody go to this extreme? But who's in my head though? Because I'm not really even, you know what I'm saying? I, I hadn't really let the cat out the bag to anyone about the thing because it was already ma being manifested or something in my mind already. This was already happening. This was happening. This, you know, and then now all of a sudden, now this person would not even know who the hell I am. You know what I'm saying? It's, this is what I'm feeling. But this is me before I'm thinking about on a soul level, right? This is me before I'm thinking that there's we're connected to each other in some kind of way that is not even what the scientists would even, you know what I'm saying? It's just science couldn't even explain it possibly, right? Or they don't want to, <laughs> right? And so I'm like, okay, why is somebody, and you know, why is somebody, and then even one night it scared the hell out of me because from one of them accounts, somebody ended up um, video, trying to video chat me or whatever. So I'm just like, this is so strange, but no, no face was there. It was like dark wherever, wherever they were. I'm like, people is playing games, but I don't like the way this feels because who is this? What is this? What is going on? Right? So I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right. That's weird. But we just going to keep it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm just, I'm interested in what all this is. Does this person really know me? <laughs> you know, is this somebody that, is this some kind of program or something that somebody's doing? Is some kind of. You know, is this like an enemy that's trying to, you know, like, what is this? What? Do you want to ask me something? Hmm? Or, no? Okay. So, you know, <clears throat> of course, all of this is going on. You know, things are going on all around or whatever. And then it's like, okay. 
okay, something is going on. This is weird. I could never let my guard down really because I felt like, you know, this is some kind of scam or some kind of trip trick. But again, how did somebody know this? So that's too many coincidences in one. And why would they know to try to use this name? You see what I'm saying? How, how would they know to use this name? And it's just, I don't know. We're going we're gonna to just leave it at that. I mean. See what I said. We're just going to leave it at that. Because I'm thinking like, why? Who is this trying to use this person's information to message me? To talk to me? To get in contact with me? What is this all about? And that's when I started to find out about these soul contracts and, you know, all this other stuff and, and all these, you know, when, once I, you know, dipped my finger in the pool of, you know, other um, seers, oracles, readers, whatever. And then I'm like, oh, this is a whole thing. Oh, oh, OK. OK, wait a minute. So this ain't even only just going on with me. OK, and this is what happened. Well, damn, that sounds a lot like this, you know, so that's just kind of like how it went. And I feel like it just still was a whole thing to try to defile my my um, image, knowing that, again, whatever is going on, these people are meeting and congregating behind closed doors and making sure that, again, some of us, again, and this might have happened to someone else. So, again, this is why I tell my story. You know? Because, again, it's, it reminds me of that Black Mirror episode when that girl was being chased by that person and everybody was just sitting there with their phones out watching and she was just trying to, you know, she was screaming and acting crazy and trying to, you know, get away for her dear life. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, are you, what is this? Like, it's not like for like, you know, fame or clout or anything like that. It's just like for clarity. It's for, it's for closure. It's for, you know, how far is people really willing to go in this world? Like, what the hell is going on? Is everybody else strange or is it me? You know what I'm saying? For 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 playing this type of game, right? Uh, downstairs in the basement, on the floor. I don't know because I was using it down there. Or yeah, that's where it was. So, you know, for me. Um, reading that and just getting kind of emotional the other day when we were reading that chapter and it, it was revealing that, you know, somebody was, was gone. I was wondering why was I feeling that way? So it was just that, right? It was just that. Because almost like the connection was like, you know, uh, really strong, like, a, uh, maybe, maybe just too over, overpowering, just like too, 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 too intense. And it, it might be something, again, that, I don't know. It's hard to explain, so it's hard to explain. <laughs> it's hard to explain, so it's hard to explain, you know? But it's just like, oh, I just can't stand being quiet about something like that. Because, you know, but then again, I feel like, well, dude, at this point in time, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing happened, then what happened? You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I was sure for me, it was feeling like a connection that was supposed to possibly manifest into at least a shaking of hands. You know what I'm saying? Some type of something, you know, at the end of the day, it felt like that's what it felt like for me. You know, and obviously, really, you know, all the things that I've um, it's almost like I loved and I, I lost. Right. But it's not even in that way, right? It's, it's really not even in. It, but 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 it, but 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 it is it, you know? It's just something that will just forever be hard to explain.
But the most thing to me, I feel like it's just like, again, a caring thing. But I know that there's layers to this ish. (laughs) I know that there's layers to this ish. And there's some things that are probably not to be spoken. And I don't want to come off as someone that just went too far. I do have boundaries, you know, I do, you know, but it, it would be nice to know, right? It's that kind of energy. Like, it's not like no play thing. It's not like no, no you know, th- like, I don't know. This just, it was just so intense. And it still is. And I think it's just kind of rotten, like I said, and stanking for people to send images of, again, just so happens this individual. And I'm thinking, I know this can't be this person. And if it is the person, then okay. You know what I'm saying? Forget it then. I guess it really, what? Right? And if it's not, you know what I'm saying? Then I don't know. It's just like a very... I don't know, disgusting thing to do to somebody because again, these I'm, I'm a real person going through this experience, 99 per, point something percent alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's hard to break me and I'm a very logical thinker. I'm also a seer and I'm also, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These things. So again, in that Godhead energy, it's kind of hard to get things past me, but it's not impossible, Right? But again, I have feelings too. I would think that God would have feelings too. So I find it mysterious (laughs) that certain things happened. You know? And there's still no... You know, certain things happened and then people want to send out, you know, maybe some type of uh, visions or dreams of like uh, gunshots or something like that. Right. And then actually then somebody, you know, sends images of this individual in a very messed up situation. So I'm saying at this point, it's, it's some type of like harassing. Now, I don't have to ever pick up my phone again. Right. But to know that this is going on to people bothers me because if someone is not strong minded, strong willed, grounded, connected to source, that's probably why the armed, the militia of ancestors had to come out because of this shit right here. And it have to be a whole bunch of people doing it to somebody. And that concerns me, especially if I feel like these people are moving in packs where they feel like they're going to be the next, they're going to drop uh, topple over anybody that's competition for them. Right. Um, and end up being the ones that are going to be building, um, uh, nations here and, and also being, uh, being put in positions of power over what I would say my people. And those are the people, what I fight for that don't have a voice. It may be seemingly there's somebody that's speaking that that's in the likeness of you. Right. But they're not really you. Right. And then also, you know, they're going to get this. Okay. Let's say that, that. Uh, some of these tools were left, you know, and they were talking about how the Taliban, it wouldn't take them nothing but this much time to learn how to use the stuff and everything like that. So let's just say that right there. Let's just say that, that they did that on purpose because again, they, these people are going to be able to, again, it, it's almost like anti uh, semi energy, but because they are the so-called black or so-called American Indian, you know what I'm saying? The origines or the OGs or the elders of this plane called America right? The Americas, it doesn't really matter. See? So we, uh, we, we want to wonder how Israel was lost. It's not even lost yet. We've been somewhat found, but again, all will be lost if we don't pay attention to the timeline and the pattern of what's going on right now. And not, not thinking in ancient times, but thinking in these times. You know, so what is this some type of attack or was this some type of, again, uh, something else that's more on the divine level? And maybe these people didn't know what they were doing when this connection was formed, possibly from them using it for their benefit. But they didn't realize that this was a different type of connection than ever before. 
And again, I may be embarrassing myself saying this right now, but you know, it just it's just the way I saw it on my side. Cause I ain't never crazy. Very cold and calculated if I wanted to be. But I've never wanted to be. I've never wanted to be. Matter of fact, I don't even like I used to cry after fights. I mean, I beat the hell out your ass, but I mean, I'll cry afterwards because I knew that I, there was something else in me, right? That somebody didn't know what they was dealing with if they wanted to pick on me, pick on me. And I was let people pick on me and pick on me and pick on me until I turn around and knock your motherfucking ass out and then pick you up and body slam you along the way. Because once I go there, it's just a, it's a wrap. <laughs> but I've changed. <laughs> Over time, I've changed. And I think that this was something, some type of rite of passage, again, naturally. And I feel like I made it and nobody's going to take it away from me. But it's almost like a energy of like everybody knows and I feel left out of my own shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it, this is what it feel like. <laughs> Weird. Like, oh, oh, what's those silly movies from back in like the 90s trading? Wait, trading places. Um, Tom Hanks and Big. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Freaky Friday. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Is this a, you like how how how? You know what I'm saying? How much of this? How much do we know? How much do we know? And how does one even begin to tell their story if it's something like this? But it's almost like it feels bad because, like, you know, I feel like, man, it's like, damn. And it ain't even like, no, even I, like, I told you so. But it's like, ooh, man. I just remember. I just remember. And this is like, ooh, that's the energy I feel. It's the energy I feel. I just feel like if something happened, this will happen. That's what it was. And I said that's what it was going to be. I didn't say it, say it, but I sensed it. So again, she's got this moth on here, so, you know. Of course, I can't like say everything, but I'm, you know, I'm just trying to give it to you how I can. Because again, this is, this is a, an outlet for me. This is my so-called somewhat of a diary as much as, you know, possible, right? It's like, that's what it is. It's like, whatever this is, like something in me is telling me that, no, this is something that's supposed to change the world. It's supposed to change the way people see conversations or relationships or, you know, um, interactions, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to spiritual, you know, connections and things like this, like this, this is, it, what was that card that we pulled yesterday? The story is supposed to be written. Right. And again, I wouldn't want to do that unless again, like I said, I, I, yeah. <sighs> Oof. Mm. Yeah. I would have to sense that that's the energy all around. Right. And then just even having a talking code about it, it makes it seem even more weird, but. You know, it's just, it just, it's real. And again, I don't have to lie about anything. You know, 
Rather, it was, like I said, rather it was this person or somebody else. This has to do with something deeper up or higher up than that because there's no way to distinctively make that connection. And then also the book, the book, The Spring. Those same things going on. So there has to be a deeper connection here. It's an all around universal something. And this is a prophecy right? So again, something is here, but there's also that aspect that there's some, there's others in the mix. And again, there's someone else in the mix. There has been to a certain, uh, certain point, but it just seemed like this, that, that was on that level, but this is like the extended, this, this, the, the second connection was like the extended version both right when it comes to again that energy of those two wands or whatever right it's weird because yeah it's like 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 uh the extended version Put in work and for so long. And so I was just like, you know, very, you know, emotional, right? Like before I did this video, right? Because I was like, man, who is hard for me? Because it's uh, some of it is like almost like, like throwing jabs a little bit, right? <laughs> some of the, some of the messaging, right? That comes in. But most of it was something that helped me see something, maybe not enough, right? But it was, it was something, that nourished that bond or that connection. It's like, you know, BFF, like really, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it is, it, 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 but, but again, at some points in times it, you know, seemed different depending on what type of, you know, uh, avenue or road, right? What road or highway was taken, you know what I'm saying? Those are the different ways of communication levels or, Whatever, without being very specific, right? River, stream, streaming. So again, that kind of energy there. And again, somebody's going to try to use that, like, um, as in something, something. But again, it's it's more about energy. Yeah, all this connecting to the earth and everything is all about that. So, oh, for me. It's about a connection. It's about seeing people in a different light. But I guess you have to be a certain way. So thinking that th there's some sense of purity there. So again, it hurt me to think, man, did somebody hurt somebody that was pure? Did somebody, could somebody hurt someone over love and, you know, like possibly like crush somebody's like whole heart and soul? Cause you that mad and you that jealous, you know, that just made me, that just made me like, oh, that's the kind of people we dealing with. That's the kind of energy and entities we dealing with here. Cause again, to, to me, nothing can take away those bonds that were formed. Ever, 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 never. Right. And then, you know how I used to do, we used to do breakdowns on things, right? Like why he doing this, why they doing that? So then again, it's like more images and stuff coming through that just got me like, oh no, oh man, somebody on some bullshit right now. That's what they doing. They on some, and it, it's just very, ugh. but I know again, I'm not the only one that's intelligent in this sense. But then again, I wonder like on what levels is we talking? You know what I'm saying? Could people be, you know, you know, being treated or going into uh, rehabilitation centers, you know? Right? Where you might not remember everything that you might have remembered. And it may be some kind of way to, you know, strip something away. And then again, when someone comes forward about something, it'll make them look even more ridiculous because... Now the other person don't even remember somebody. 
I think there was another movie that came out over the summer um, that was on like one of them. I don't know. I have the stick or whatever. It was on one of these uh, apps or something about some man that woke up one day in, in somebody else's body or something like that. And he just happened to be like a, a father, you know what I'm saying? Like in real life, like in a real life situation or whatever. And, you know, I don't know. I guess he had to learn how to love the children and and get to know the wife and everything like that. I don't know. I never watched it. Matter of fact, it might be something I might watch since I just thought about it. It, it reminded me of like one of them Lifetime kind of movies. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And if you got the stick, you would have seen it in your little thing this summer times, this summer sometime. But he was freaking out, dude, because <laughs> I think he wasn't he wasn't used to that lifestyle, right? So, I don't know. I mean, it's just, if you really think about it, and we're just talking about like from the farm to table kind of energy and what goes on in between then and in between there. And it's just, like I said, it made me think about this portion of my ascension or that particular connection. It's like that made, that just was a, in five different ways, it showed me that something else is going on here. It's deeper. Rather, it's all some kind of big charade that's been put on in order for some kind of defilement or it was some real shit. Or maybe they didn't know it was going to be some real attached to it. And that realness came in and nobody can handle it. So they had to abort the mission and, you know, whatever. And that also makes me think that we got some 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 build of beings that, that may be, you know, Mm -hmm. artificially intelligent that might, you know, be behind the scenes pulling strings and making moves and, you know, that kind of energy. That kind of energy. And something organic came up, a force of nature came up on their ass. And and nobody know what nobody knew what to do. You see what I'm saying? That. And they thought everything going their way or whatever and everything was going to just be so easy to tear down a wall, a wailing wall, possibly. And, and and now everybody's just mad, ready to get over with it or whatever. So, again, it could be where even the the entity that I sense might have, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm saying they leave you in lingo in that sense, right, where you just have to wonder some a regular person be like, oh my goodness, what did I do wrong? And, all, and I'm just like, what the hell happened? I need to know. You know what I'm saying? This ain't right. Okay, it hurts a little bit. Okay, you, that's what you did. That's what you tried. Okay. But I got to be tough. I can't be showing, you know what I'm saying? I can't, you know. I, it shouldn't make me look heartless. You know what I'm saying? Leave, you know what I'm saying? Having someone deal with this kind of thing on their own when it seemed like everybody else is able to link up and group up. You know what I'm saying? That's some cold hearted shit right there. I'm telling you. In the face, they whole family and everything, seeing them going through a transformation or something like that. Like, come on, man. Seeing somebody about to lose it, lose everything over this, this energy that just swept in like a whirlwind. This chaos. And ain't nobody gonna say nothing. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing. For real. Mm. I'm just saying, man. So is we dealing with people? What are we dealing with? You know? Because I feel like I know, like, from to me, my, my source... Or, or, or my Elohim are are loving, but will smack the shit <laughs> at the same time. You know what I'm saying? But there's an equal, I feel there's an equal balance. Or there should be. And in there in 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 this this source that I'm connecting with prior to all of this has not been the author of confusion. Everything has been very precise, correct, and in, in just seeing and not knowing. It's not until this whole thing came in that it started to be where 
there's an author of conclusion. So it made me think, again, are these God-verting forces trying, they see what God has rolls up from the soil and they want to at least either attack it or create the same thing. So again, they need to be able to study it or them or her. And then try to recreate, instead of using what they have, they want to build it back better. When how can you? There's a net, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? You still want to continue to do your wicked ways? What are you afraid of? That's my question. So anyways, I think that's it, y'all. For now. Like, you, that's the thing. And on that many levels like that, and if y'all was able to see everything that I've seen. Red, you know what I'm saying? Then you, too. You, too would know, you know, mm. and again, even if it was some kind of like, yeah, we'll just stop there. Take care.